Hey guys, it's Alex, All Day Cards. Been a little while. Um, I keep, I feel like every time I make a video, I say the same thing. Like, here's the stuff I've been getting. Haven't been making tons of videos. Haven't been getting quite as many cards as you know, last year or whatever. But still doing it. Still getting great stuff. Um, I got a little bit of everything. Thought I'd get show you guys some stuff. Want to see some what I've been picking up? Um, got these right here. These are English's salutes. Um. These are the tops of some fried chicken boxes. So Englishes, I actually, I'm from Maryland and I don't know if this is a Maryland place. If it is, I've never heard of it or it was short lived or I'm not even sure, but this was a chicken place apparently. Um, uh, and they made these Orioles lids. So there's um, more than just Ripken and Murray, but I got picked up the cow and the Eddie I think I first saw these, um, John Mangini actually had a, I think he had a Jim Palmer, and I was like, oh, those are kind of cool. I like weird, uh, weird regional and food type things, especially Orioles, Ripken, and Murray, and all that, so went out and found those. Those are super cheap, but cool, different kind of stuff. Um, speaking of different kind of stuff, got, I've been working on the Macho Man collection. Um, I don't know, lately I just kind of had some nostalgia for old wrestling and, it, and it's really just been Macho Man. I've been picking up some Macho Man stuff because he was my guy when I was a kid. So um, this is a Circle K card. It was kind of like a scratch off game type of thing from 87. Um, I just kind of held out for one that was in decent shape, unscratched and you know, real clean condition. So just a cool old oddball Macho Man thing from Circle K, which is we don't have them in Maryland, but I, I lived in Arizona for a while, and we had Circle Ks all over the place, so I guess more of a West Coast thing. Um, but there you go, a Macho Man game type of thing, and then some more Macho Man. Got this lot. This is the 87 Tops wrestling set, so I won't show all of them. But I got, it was four of the regular one, the, the uh, regular Macho Man card with Miss Elizabeth. Got four of those. And then one of the sticker. So just fun stuff that I like. I had the card, but wanted a nicer one, and some of those look better than what I have. So that's all for the wrestling. A um, couple Alexander Ovechkin Fleer Ultra second year. These were both in really nice shape from the same seller. It's packaged really nicely. Got the soft sleeve in the card saver, in the like team bag uh there was also painter's tape on there too so i forget what the seller was but good seller good cards nice clean cards alexander Ovechkin's second year i think you know he's my hometown guy i collect him but those are good value buys in my opinion here's another hometown hockey guy um mike gartner capitals long time capitals guy he is Top five in goals still in the NHL. Um, I think he's probably about number five, maybe six. I don't know, somewhere in there. Ovechkin's bumping people down. So, but he's up there. He's one of the all-time greats in hockey. And this is a super nice tops rookie. So this is 80-81, SGC eight. The centering looked awesome. Tops has this black scratch-off thing that part of the condition of the card is at least it's in most cases is considered that. You know, the more black and the more solid that is, the, you know, that's how it, true mint condition. So, this one was just a super clean card. I had the OPG, still do, but uh, I never actually had a, a, a Tops version. So, got a nice eight. The price was pretty good. You know, I don't think a lot of people collect Mike Gartner, but it's okay, because I do. Um, got a couple Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's. So when I was, I don't buy a lot of basketball at all. I don't collect much. I don't watch any modern basketball. But growing up, I kind of had an affinity for Kareem. Um, I don't know. He was just kind of around in the 80s. I definitely saw him play on the Lakers in his last couple years. Um, I think, I don't know. He's He just kind of stand out, stood out to me when I was a kid. And I, I had a couple of his cards. So I got a couple other ones. Um, got a pretty cool 74 in a PSA 4. Not the greatest condition, but it was a decent price. Cool card. Um, Kareem's got a lot of really cool cards. You know, nice photos. Big, you know, he was just kind of a, 
uh, I think he just, how he played, made it so, sort of lent itself to good action shots, honestly. Lots of hook shots, lots of shooting over people. It's a pretty cool shot right there. So that's the 74, I like that one, and then this one's cool too. Got the 72 All-Star. This one's really off-centered, but it's another four, and it was, the price was right. Um, I just wanted to have the card. I don't not going to pay a bunch of money for a really nice one. Cause, but him doing a hook shot over Wilt Chamberlain, pretty cool. So yeah, I got a couple Kareems. I got a couple more on the way, or at least just one more, I think. I uh, got some oddball, some more oddball Oriole stuff. So this is these are pretty rare cards that uh, I kind of jumped on. Um, I had barely heard of this. I think I had seen these on eBay a couple times, but they're kind of obscure. Um, so I'll start with, I got a Jim Palmer, it's 1970 Carl Aldana Orioles. So I guess the, the, this guy was, he was an artist um, who for whatever reason made a whole set of the Orioles in 1970 and did these illustrations and I'm, I'm not exactly sure how the cards were produced or distributed, but uh, if you look them up on eBay, there's there's a few, um, you'll see some sets and some singles and they're, they're kind of pricey considering for what they are. like. Probably not a lot of people, not a ton of people really gravitating towards these, but um, the price was right, and I got, so I got the Palmer and the Frank Robinson, 1970 Carl Aldana. So you can tell these came from the same, like, collection or set, because uh, the condition of them is, they're, so they're both PSA 7s, which, they're really sharp, clean cards, but other than there's, like, kind of, like, staining around the edge. Which to me, like, is definitely not PSA seven, but they're blank backs. Um, they were just, you know, stuff that you really don't see. So I thought I'd get both of those for the Orioles collection. Pretty cool. Um, they're slabbed. They're pretty rare, but not the most beautiful cards. And the whole staining thing is kind of it's kind of weird that like really there's a PSA seven. If I were to look at these with that staining, even as sharp as they are. I'd, I think they'd be more like a three or a four to me, but I don't really care what the grade is to be in, to be honest anyway, so I just wanted them. And my last card is kind of my good old bread and butter, low grade, slabbed, vintage, Hall of Famer. Got a 54 Eddie Matthews, been wanting this one for a while. Really nicely centered, really clean card, it's a two and a half. Um, I love how most, most vintage stuff looks great in, in the new SGC holder. Um, this one, it has a, yeah, there's a, there was a tiny hairline up there in that corner, but, um, sorry for the glare. Otherwise, I thought it just looked great for, for the grade and a reasonable price. So, that's what I got, guys. Um, I'm still watching videos. Hope everybody's getting through winter. It's cold in Maryland. I'm pretty much over it, but take it easy, guys. Let me know what you think. All right, see ya. Bye.